Here's a short video I put together that may help someone out that needs to make some large holes in stainless steel. I sure would have liked to have seen something like this before starting our faucet upgrade. The kitchen faucet in our condo was over 30 years old and the faucet stems kept going bad every couple of months and it cost a lot to replace. It was adding up. I decided to upgrade to a Dura pullout RV style which fit perfectly into the small stainless steel sink. But it had a different hole pattern. So I decided to cut some new holes. How hard could that be? It turned out to be a little harder than I thought. The stainless steel in the older sink was a little tougher than I expected. I first started out with a uh, bimetal hole cutting bit. But after 20 minutes of cutting and not making much progress, and looking like I was making a mess, I realized that I needed to try something else out. There's nothing wrong with this bit. It just wasn't working out for the stainless steel, as you can see. I called the maintenance manager for some advice, and he recommended a graduated step drill. I had never heard of that before. I made a quick trip to the local hardware store, and sure enough, they had some various sizes. I picked up a titanium-coated bit from Bosch. This self-tapping bit steps up and can drill several hole sizes. I placed it in my drill chuck and tightened it down good. With safety glass on and a small bottle of milling oil, I started the seemingly impossible task again. To my happy surprise, it was much easier with the new step bit. I applied oil often while drilling and took my time, letting the bit do the work without forcing it. The bit did get hot and smoked a little, but I kept applying the light milling oil, backed off a little, and continued drilling. With each hole size level, it worked best to back off even more in the pressure, or the bit tended to grab and got stuck a couple times. Once I got used to that, it was easy. On to the next hole. I used a punch to help start the hole, but this drill is self-tapping and it started very well. The smaller holes went much faster and were much easier to do. The bit makes very smooth holes and you can deburr by drilling lightly from the other side. I cleaned up each hole further with a round stone on my Dremel tool. Next the faucet gasket, feeding the assembly of hoses through the main hole and tightening down the holding nuts to the faucet. I hooked up the water supply and the sink works perfectly. I hope this helps you in some way. I'm planning some more projects with stainless steel and now I shouldn't have any problems doing them and I won't dread doing them either.